How's it going everybody? In this video, I will show you how to set up a TTM squeeze dashboard that looks like this. Um, the code identifies and displays the TTM squeeze histogram colors on your watch list along multiple different time frames, and I'll show you how to set this up. Uh, so the code will be different from last video, where in the previous video, the code just identified the stocks that are in a squeeze. So look for these red dots. In this code, uh, we'll be looking for the momentum of these stocks. So we'll be looking for the colors of the histogram and displaying them on the watch list. If you don't know what the TTM squeeze indicator is, I'll put a link in the description of the video below so you can check out a, a video that goes over it in more detail. Um, but here's how I have my dashboard set up. I'm a swing trader, so I have the weekly, daily, four hour, and the one hour timeframes on my watch list. And the way I use this tool is I, I scan for stocks that have had the strongest momentum and the weakest momentum, right? So uh, if I look at Google here, which has had strong momentum on multiple different time frames, I have an idea of what that chart will look like. All right, same here with Adobe. And if I look for stocks that have been the weakest, um, that that's also easy to identify by looking for a series of red bars. Um, so you can tailor this tool to help you identify uh, trade ideas and give you buy and sell signals based on the strategies that you use for your trading. So let me show you how to set this up. Uh, again, you're going to hit on this gear icon, hit customize. You're going to type in custom double click on one of these custom fields, switch over to the ThinkScript editor, delete everything that's there, and copy and paste the code that I will post in the description of the video. Um, so now you have to identify which time frames you want to set this up for. Uh, so let's say you want to start with a five minute chart. Uh, for anything intraday, you want to make sure this checkbox is checked. You're going to name this something like five minute squeeze. You're going to save it and then you're going to repeat the process for as many different time frames as you want and then add them to your current set of studies you want displayed. So once you have done all that, your final product will look something like this. Thanks for watching everybody. My name is Constantine. Hope this video deserves a like and I'll see you guys on the next one.